mister. And that there's a good old horse. Hey, friend. Hey, Hello. Friend. Mister. Lovely today. Thank you. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Yeah. A whole lot of ugly business here. Hey, partner. Hello.
Need a hand, miss? My horse up and died. I'll be twisting my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. Yeah. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next hey, thing Barney. I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being, I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. 
I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. Wasting any more time on that now.
Stop! Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait! Hey, come back!
Easy now. Hi there. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello. You all right there, friend? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail. Apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. <sighs> Well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. 
Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. Let's go! I thought you were riding with us. <laughs> so, you were just talking about something. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you.